at the same time almost, and it sounds horrible. <laughs> Prepare for rivals. And why is that not playing the music for it? Hey? Why is it silent? I know why. It's because I moved the folder, right? And for some reason, the audio won't work whilst playing an MP4 in OBS. It's the same problem I had with the sounds, by the way. Um, so what I'm going to have to do is just find the fucking thing again and sort it out. Right, so it looks like we've got Libao. Right, so we've got Hidden City, so somebody was right and it wasn't me. Why can't you see chat, Antu? Uh, you should be able to see chat. There should be chat there for you all. So let's have a look. We have got... 11 teams on what? 11 players on one team. And 13 on the others. Has, like, something gone wrong, or...? Eh? That could be a bug on my part, but it looks like people are missing players. Very strange. But, uh, and too, you should be able to see chat, man. Um, I mean, on, on screen, so on the stream, you'll be able to see the scrolling chat at the bottom. And then, obviously, on your browser, there should be chat as well. Hiya, Dale. Hello, motherfucker. All right, everything's working perfectly so far. Uh, nobody can, compla uh, can claim otherwise. Everything has been running smoothly. I have sneaky suspicion, though, that... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> we might have to restart because there's definitely players missing. Unless they said that they aren't going to get enough players and they would just play with less players anyway. No clue. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. So we are on Hidden City. Oh, I see how it is. Oh my god, why did it put me like. Why is it flashing weird red? Oh. <gasps> Why do I have a feeling that they've like made the UI even worse than it was? That would actually be an achievement in and of itself. So hopefully I've got the teams the right, right way around and SNG is attacking and it's not the other way around. I'm going to slow down my camera a little bit so it's only at 20, 19, 20. So it shouldn't be too annoying for you guys. Obviously the tab's still terrible. Uh, so they haven't reverted that terrible change, which you know is a shame. So the towers are getting moved. Artillery is going or being used. Obviously artillery is not supposed to be placed. However, I think because this is a warm up for... Yeah, it is because this is the warm up for the main tournament that's going to be coming in like a week they're allowed to use the same rules as that and how are your eyes no issues anymore about after the operation my eyes are doing good dutch night to be fair um they're still fairly sensitive to light but like nowhere near as what they were obviously like when i'm streaming now i put the glasses on because i've got like a big um lad like on like next to my camera flashing in my eyes the whole time so it's um it was playing the music for you oh, perfect it just wasn't playing it for me then that's good um that's not really a problem if it doesn't play it for me. <laughs> as long as it plays it for you guys. But I actually quite like the sound of that music. And that's a shout out to Coffee Fueled Gaming because he was the one that made that trailer. Um, and I think it's rather nice. But yeah, um, that's not too bad then if you, you, could have heard the, you could hear the trailer music. I mean, clearly it was all working properly and I knew it was from the beginning. Um, no mistakes made here. So Longbow here, Mr. Pustoy is shooting the crap out of stuffs. And we have, oh, I can't just tab and see which team's got the lowest numbers. I think it's the attacking team have actually got the lower number of players. Yeah, they've got 11, 12 players for the attackers, I believe. The defenders. I've got 14, okay. So the defenders have got like two, three players more, so they're gonna have an advantage anyway. 
so we'll see how this goes for the attacking team hopefully on the next match they'll have a full 15 man because i know they had to move the, the matches back an hour maybe that's why because they didn't have the players um but we'll see we shall see so this tower is now fully mounted on the wall the two in the middle are not apparently they're not even being pushed or they've been destroyed probably been destroyed right so another treb is being called in on the culver in there Culverin is deed. So we are doing normal CBL rules. SNG not full team. No, both teams are not got full team hustle by any means. And how are you doing, bud? Hello. Um, but the attacking team, so SNG have got like f missing four players, and the defending team's only missing one, or missing three players or something. SNG is, which is which is a shame. Um, but you know, it's just a warm-up match. It's nothing. There's nothing on the line. Uh, each team's just going to play each team from each group, and then I think next week they're going to go through and see if you like from from Group A and Group B, the teams that were best will play against each other or something. We shall see. So we've still got the prep phase going on, and I think that's one reason why I actually really enjoy the Conqueror's Blade Rivals rule set. It's because this beginning artillery phase just isn't a thing. Like this boring, just used artillery. Oh, oh. I think you should have heard that, Dale. The... I did it clearly much better. Um, but yeah, this this artillery boring phase at the beginning is just horrible because obviously with the CBR rules, basically the towers always get in. Uh, so the actual fighting starts a lot quicker, which is nice to see. And because... Uh, this tab system is so terrible. Why couldn't they have changed it? Does anybody know that? Like, Does anybody know why? They couldn't have just changed it. And why there's like a... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. This is just annoying. So they've obviously given up A. Obviously, it's trebable up on the wall. Would have made absolutely no sense to get to get that... Uh, to, to fight that. What might happen is here, they'll fight close to the wall. Um, it can be a very powerful position because obviously it's treb safe. The defenders have got Zakalian out as well. They have got the Ritiarii as well. Other units, we've got Fort Brachio, we've got Stalwarts, we've got the Mermilones, Silidars as well, interestingly. I haven't seen Silidars in forever. Another unit of Mer Mermilones are really strong at the minute. The attackers also have Mermilones, also Greyhair Garrison, Shenji. Obviously for this match it was Sifirofanoi and Falconetis that were banned. A mortar going down there from Nan. Also from No Mercy Pawns is putting a mortar down. At the top of the staircase we've got Stalwarts. Two free sets of Mermilones. Another set of Stalwarts coming in. Four sets of Mermilones. Okay, five sets of Mermilones. <laughs> Clearly these boys like their Mermilones. We've got some Claymores up here as well. So obviously what they're going to try and do is Shenji. Ooh, that, that mortar there was terrible. Nan! I revoke Nan's fucking rights to use artillery because that was a shocking. <laughs> and the attacking... No, say that. The defender says 15, so I'm lying to you guys. Apparently, I just can't count. So the attackers did just lose one player, so now they're down to 10 until that guy obviously respawns back in. And because this UI is absolutely glorious... Oh, no, it's Zenny's. So I was lucky enough to, for it to show me that it's Zenny's that died. I was going to say because I wouldn't be able to tell you who died, but you know. So the defenders, they probably shouldn't lose because they're always going to be out of outnumber the attackers. Shenji bombs should come down. Zakalian bombs are coming down now as well from the attackers. There's the Shenji bombs. The big fight's going off. A lot of the defenders got no nuked there by the bombs. Zakalian's from the defending team throwing up the stairs and hitting the big blob of attackers as well. Unit-wise... The defenders have got less, but they may have brought higher quality. Because obviously they've got more players anyway, so they should have more units. But they've got lower, so they must have more cavalry than the attackers do. The fight so far, though, I would say is probably going in the attackers' favour. It says 15, though. Eh? When it was loading in, there was only like 11. I've been telling you guys a load of shit then, apparently. Unless the UI is still janky, because I know it was the wrong way around. We'll see. We'll see. I'll keep an eye on it. If it like we get to a phase where it goes back up, it could be that both teams are full and the UI is just janky as hell, and I forgot that the UI is janky as hell. And I just missed the cavalry charge. Apologies. And there's the sharp. Perfectly timed, actually, that was. Lo loose anus. Oh, yeah. You must be used to the sharp in there, eh? with your loose anus. You must do that all the time. 
So we've got the cavalry rush coming now from the attackers. They are moving for the eastern supply. Ooh, lockout is going to get ruined there. Lockout is dead. Like, you can't just tab and see how many players are dead. It's so annoying. So annoying that they did that. Because that was at 14-12. So my counting is just clearly completely wrong. Because when I was counting the attackers, I definitely weren't 15 in before. But I clearly just missed some people. So maybe it's 15-15 and I've been lying to you all this time. But the blue team seem to have less heroes now. They're at 14 now. So it looks like everyone's maxed out. Okay. Now it's 15-15, so I literally was lying to you. And I think it's because when it come in as well, I looked at the UI and it doesn't load in properly until you push tab once, and that's why it confused me as well. And on the loading screen, there definitely wasn't um, there definitely wasn't as many dudes. So we've got Fort Brachio for the attackers. We've got Camels, Fort Brachio, IPGs, Stalwarts, even more Fort Brachio, even more Fort Brachio, even more Fort Brachio, Shenjis, a lot of artillery going down, more IPGs, I think more Shenjis there, and even more Fort Brachio. Okay, so they're expecting heavy cav from the defenders, and the Defenders have a lot less units than the attackers do. There are wing de Sars out already. I'm trying to see if there's like chevaliers or anything. Looking on the minimap, can't see anything there. Make that a little bit bigger so we can look. Obviously, I can't tab and look at the big map to see where units are because the UI is just clearly superior in every way. But people are getting hit by ballistas. The defending team has just lost two heroes, I assume, to ballistas going down. They've still got mortars, the ballistas of their own. I think that's a grape shot at the front here. No, that's a culverin. Try to get rid of their cannons. Okay. Let's rush over here quickly. So there is an artillery standoff. The attackers are pulling back to try and keep the lane free so they don't lose as many units. Um, the cavalry that they do have out... That must be Liao's. They've got Liao's and Camels from what I could see. They've got four minutes or four minutes 20. So they're, they're more than happy to take their time. And what they'll try and do is, is do like an overwhelming rush like they just did. So the UI is still buggy and for it to update, I always have to keep pushing tabs. So that's, you know, glorious. I'm really glad that they made it worse and then haven't improved it in any way since like three months ago when <laughs> we had CB rivals. Ah. Oh. Feels good, man. Right, I'll stop complaining now. Probably I won't, but you know. Right, so the camels are going to squat and have a shit right in the middle of the road here. Look like they're paladins, though, because their spears are glowing gold. We've got Fort Abracchio. Also, F1 brace to cross that very nicely. The attackers here, we've got Shenjis going down. We've got Mermelones going in. We have Fort Abracchio probably on V attack. The Shenji bombs did work. Mortars coming in now as well. Or was that a Scorpio even? There's a Kalian bombs going off. The defenders are going to struggle here because there's so many attackers. They're just going to get overwhelmed. They're not losing heroes yet. There is cavalry fight going on in the background. So Liao's from the defenders against Liao's from the attackers. Um, I can't see any of a flanks going Ooh, oh that wing the sar charge got ruined though i think that was perfectly timed bombs just like six stacks of fort brachio over the top of stalwarts they're going to struggle with that mermelons are pushing forward now stalwarts as well artillery creep going on so the grape shop creep so they can get b it looks like there's going to be no flank oh no defend the flank coming in now liao's that may not be enough to get onto the point and stop it no they all went down to the absolute mass of fort brachios going down there defenders from the side try to rush in this treb could be huge the first one definitely hit a few, but I don't think they're going to be able to get back on the point now. I think B's basically won. They've sending in Mermelons up to try and push through BTG with the Shenjis, trying to push back the attacking tide, but I think it's too little too late. B is about to fall. They've lost a lot of artillery down there as well. That mortar or the treb could be a little bit too late. They can't go too far forward because they're going to treb their own units. It did land, and I think mainly that hit defenders, so they're going to be happy with that. So the B point is lost. They have five minutes to get to the end point. Hero-wise, I don't know how many they've lost, but unit-wise, the attackers have got double the units of the defenders. The defenders are going to be probably hooning with cavalry. 
However, the fact that they've got so many Fartbrachios out for the attacking team, the defenders are going to struggle. So let's say what setup are they getting down now. So we've got Keshari with Liao's on the eastern flank. He's going for the supply over there. Basically, the rest of the team going for the northwestern supply. On the point already, we've got Stalwarts. We've got Fartbrachio. I'm Zakalian. I swear I saw uh, so <laughs> Shenji's. Also, Yada's got Shenji's at the back here. Um, Fartbrachio getting pulled in now as well from the defenders. Oh, Oh, through that'd be through the map. Martel's here, they're gonna win the game, boys. I'm calling it. They're gonna do so much work. So BTG's getting his Shenji's at the back now as well. So they've got two sets of Shenji's out. They've got a couple of sets of Fortabrachio, Stalwarts, Mermilones still up. So they've still got decent units, man. They've got two sets of Mermilones over here. Half a unit of Fortabrachio, it looks like there, or even less. The attackers though. I've got a lot. They've literally got over double the number. They've almost got three times the numbers. Like 990 to 370 is disgusting. Um, at the minute, the attackers have decided to go for a lot of cavalry as well. I'm, I would actually be surprised if they push down this lane. What will probably happen, yeah, push around here, go from the back and try trebbing into the back behind. And then they obviously can cut off reinforcements as well. Massive push from the attackers. Really liking the look of this. So we've got Zakalian mixed in there. We've got uh, Shenji mixed in there. We've got Camels that are probably going to block the entrance here. Uh, defending Camels are going in now to try and stop it. The defenders here don't know really what to do. The main push is going to come around from the back. So we have Camels across the front with two, looks like two sets of, oh no, Halberdier, Sergeants, and Fort Abraco from one side. Fort Abraco from the other, although those are going to go past. And now the attackers are pushing on the point. I'm going to try to zoom out a little bit. Obviously, the defenders don't really have any flanks to make because they're getting blocked at their base point. The attackers are coming across now with their cavalry and infantry. And because they've got superior numbers, they should be able to break this down fairly easily. We've got heroes in the back here, all dirty beast, straight on the to BTG's Shenjis to try and stop them getting bombs and shooting. Um, big chunk of attacking infantry. They really need to start moving though, but it's going to be difficult to get through as ninjas, Mermilones there without cavalry. Cavalry is coming in now though. That looked like camels. Camels doing absolute work. Mermilones supporting the camels. And it looks like they are slowly but surely savaging the stuff on the point. Now... Fire Skull, the fair has been able to get out with his IPGs. And he's going to try getting around the side now and uh, walk onto the base point. But they're starting to cap the base point already. We've got no Nodachi down there. It's just about to die. Lockout is a longsword. He did just die. Yada's jumped over with Kleenex. They're probably going to go down fairly quickly as well. The guy with the IPGs that tried coming from behind just got ruined by Liao's. And I would say the attacking team did extremely well extremely well they've still got 858 units the defenders defenders 112 they lost barely any of their heroes and obviously because of the absolute masterful use of artillery and like at the per perfect types of artillery at the right time they did absolute work so GG to the attacking team, which I hope is SNG, and I haven't made a mistake. That was absolutely glorious. And as you can see on the end screen, there was 15 against 15. It must have just been a loading glitch at the beginning where it looked like it was like 11 against 14 or something. So apologies for that. Um, I mean, I am terrible, so I'm just saying that. And I'm just going to say it's Fatal's fault because he didn't tell me. I, I think that's fine. <laughs> we'll, we'll just stick with that. And we'll just pretend it never happened. <laughs> Maybe I should have just had this playing the whole time. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. But that was a very, very nice battle. Let's have a look at the post stat or post battle anal an analysis. Whew, I can't even speak. So as you can see, the initial, what, five minutes? Yeah, five minutes, there was basically nothing. It was just obviously the, 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 the pre-set up, the artillery onto the walls. As soon as they got up onto the walls, they obviously took A, they re removed back. And this initial fight here was the one on the staircase. At this point here... And that was where the attackers basically started to steamroll. And I think it's fair to say, yeah, I mean, looking at the stats, the attackers definitely won every single engagement. Oh, apologies, I'm hiccuping. Uh, the, the attackers definitely won every single engagement, to be fair. Marker G, how are you doing, bud? Well, I can do a thing. I can do a thing. I think I can do a thing. Uh, so. I think that's how it works. We did a thing, boys. Are oh, you? Yeah. Wait, Scottish? No, no, cancel last. <laughs> How are you doing, bud? And uh, I haven't been able to say it to you in words yet, but congratulations to you and your missus. I hope everything goes well when your child's there. When your child's there. When your child is born.